All right, guys, you ready? Ken Tips here. Guess what? My new Dell Alienware um, with the uh, with the RTX 3090 finally came in. I pre-ordered this thing in December. Okay, so and I finally got it like three months later. So I'm gonna open it up. This one has liquid cooling and it's got dark side of the moon. So let's open this up. All right, so check this out. Here's the box. So it has the same things as pretty much your standard build here. Uh, some e-waste keyboards and mouse, um, Alienware literature, and there it is. There it is. All right, so there it is. Uh, it looks like there's the liquid cooler, the um, VRM uh, heat sinks. And this needs to be repasted, um, but there's a good idea. Actually, looks pretty good. Very clean. Um, yeah, looks pretty cool. All right, let's uh, get this all set up, then I'll be back, guys. Stay tuned. Right, but guys, your buddy can just here. So um, this is the RTX 3090 in here, and it's, it is actually a little bit longer than the 3080. And they actually put a couple of pieces of plastic here to keep it in place. So I'm gonna unhook this and repaste it, and. Um, uh, because the thermals are good, the VRMs are going to get so hot in this, so you got to keep it cool or else you're going to burn it out. And uh, I've taken apart a 3080 before multiple times, you guys can watch my videos. Um, they're actually pretty easy to take apart, so... Alright, so let's, uh, let's unhook this and I'll be back guys, stay tuned. Take out the video card, I'm actually going to upgrade the RAM in this, I'm going to put, I'm going to put this uh, 32 gig kit in here, it says XPG DDR4 3200 megahertz uh, XMP enabled. So let's take a look. So yeah, so I'm gonna stick that in there, and we should be good. So I'm gonna take that one stick out of there. That's a two. That's only a 290. Sorry, it's a 2933 megahertz stick. So I'm gonna take that one out, and then uh, I'm gonna put that stick in there. So all right, stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back. It's pretty easy. I've done uh, RAM replacements in the past, so all you want to do is just push on the two white tabs on the back. That'll pop right out. And basically what you do is you take those sticks, make sure they're uh, oriented correctly, and just push down and they'll click in place. So let's do that. I'll do that. I'll show you guys the RAM in here. Actually, this looks pretty nice. So here's the RAM kit. It is a really nice RAM kit, actually. Check that out. That's what it says on the back. All right, let's... Uh, this in. Okay, so this is the RAM that was actually inside the uh, Dell here. So DDR4 HyperX Fury RAM. Here's the back. I just want to read it. Pause the video. As you can see, it's a XMP, but it's also only 293 megahertz. 2933. So, all right. So let's uh, let's swap it out and put the other ones in. All right, there it is. The RAM kits are in. Uh, it's nice and locked. It has a nice click once it's, once you know it's in there, guys. So, um, but uh, I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna keep these ones open just in case I ever decide to uh, put more RAM in here. There we go. All set now. Okay. Um, so let's take the video card out next. Oh my God! Dell put this little plastic thing in there, and I can't get it out now. Um, because there's no room to wiggle it out. The only way I can get this out now is maybe if I could take the fan off here. All right, stay tuned, guys. All right, so I replaced the uh, the fan with a not to a fan. There you go. And I got it out. This was hooked on the side of it. All right, time to repaste this. So I got the screws out. We're gonna unscrew this. This is exactly the same as the 3080. Okay, so there it is. I got the back plate off. There's the the um, heat pads. They're all still intact, which is great. So I don't have to put in. I have a new one here. Uh, I was gonna put in if, in case one of them tore, but it didn't. So which is good. All right. So let's uh, unscrew these. And let's get to it. So there it is. You can see the, uh, I need some thermal paste around this. You got this tape you gotta get rid of. 
and then I'm gonna repaste this and then put it back together. Stay tuned guys. Uh, I gotta get alcohol and start rubbing that down. Guys, everybody can just here. So the video card's back together as you can see. Everything's all set up. I'm just gonna stick it back in the case and then uh, we're gonna set, start it up and uh, see how well it runs. Um, yeah, so I actually had to open up a new thermal paste uh, tube because this one already ran out. Uh, I like to paste all my cards really well. So, all right, let's uh, let's okay, do this. Here it is, all set up. I'm gonna get it all uh, check out the hash rates and uh, might overclock it a bit. So, stay here's tuned. the base uh, stock uh, configuration. So you get about 106 giga hash on a base configuration on a 3090 here. Let me show you guys here. 106 mega hash, as you can see. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna overclock it. You should be able to get 125. So uh, I'll be back and I'll see what I can get. I'm gonna show you my GPU temperatures. Uh, the memory goes really high. It goes to 108 degrees, as you can see right there. Uh, right there. Um, you need to lower down the, the power or else you're gonna burn out your GPU. So uh, these aren't the greatest for mining, actually. 3080s are much better. All right, stay tuned, guys. Let me get this all. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll do it in a future video. But if you have any questions, comments, guys, post below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.